Thank you for tuning into another edition of the Daily Scrum News, reporting from Winnipeg, Manitoba, I'm Jonathan Taylor Kane. The Manitoba government has made the decision to allow 500 fully vaccinated healthcare workers to attend the second round of playoffs for the Winnipeg Jets home game against the Montreal Canadiens. The 500 selected healthcare members will be done by a lottery draw. In Game 6 between the Leafs and the Canadiens, the home team had 2,500 fans in attendance to cheer them on. It was a surprise move by Premier Francois Legault to ease restrictions for sporting events, seeing as Quebec's daily case count remains high. The move by the Manitoba government to follow suit is drawing widespread criticism across the province. Manitoba is under the strictest COVID-19 lockdown in the country and has the highest daily rate of infections per capita within North America. Premier Pallister indicated he was optimistic about allowing a small group of fans to attend a Jets game was a sign of things getting back to normal. Not all Manitobans share the same sentiment as the Manitoba Premier and many see the decision to allow any fans in the stands as a slap in the face to everyone abiding by the health orders. I'm a Jets fan, love them. However, the rules don't apply to Mr. Pallister, really. Not long ago we have been told we cannot have people on our personal properties because they may need to use the bathroom. Prior to this, we were allowed to go to restaurants where they apparently clean more diligently. Our own toilets may not be clean for the up to five people we might have over versus the numerous people dining out. Said Susie St. Hilaire a Manitoba resident. Ms. St. Hilaire further added the premier is making it difficult for people to trust him, trust the restriction rules, and trust the vaccine. The move to allow members to attend a Jets game in the middle of a pandemic is not only stupid, it's a boneheaded move. Ms. St. Hilaire shares her concerns for parents with school-aged children not being able to attend classes, family members not being allowed to see each other, and the many Manitobans that cannot attend amenities that are in place to improve their well-being and their mental health. It goes without saying, Manitobans love their Jets and are extremely grateful to the healthcare staff and frontline workers for putting their fellow Manitobans first. The healthcare workers can definitely use a well-earned distraction from the utter chaos that they have endured for the last year and a half, it's just the time and optics come into play by the Manitoba government. Many feel that Manitoba has badly mishandled the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic and based on the numbers they make a valid point. It is not easy governing in the middle of a global pandemic, but the government has over a year of scientific data that should be used to drive the decisions they make. Those decisions should always be in the best interest of the community and not that of a select few. Until we meet again, this is Jonathan Taylor Kane reporting from Winnipeg, Manitoba for the Daily Scrum News.